All right, so uh, I'm driving uh, towards inland San Diego a little bit to go to a hiking place. Um, I don't know if you can see on the navigation there, the turnoff is Pine Valley. And um, I'm driving a Land Rover, uh, a Range Rover Sport HSE 2020. And um, when new this showed on online, this car was like a $85,000 car. So anyways, um, I got a chance to rent this for a good price, so I took it. And because I like to test new cars, their uh, magnetic field and Wi-Fi, and just you know a little variety. So the car is very quiet, as you can see. Um, but as I'm driving this, it just you know, I guess I kind of already knew this, but it kind of dawned on me that all these new features in cars and even in much you know cheaper cars than this. They're a result of poor engineering and technology choices. So it's like using technology to fix problems caused by technology. <laughs> so what do I mean? Well, okay, so the first thing I noticed was this car has this little lane thing. Whoops. Okay, so you can see it right there. It's like this lane guide. So if you go too close to the edge, now watch the, the console. Okay. Woo. Okay, you see that red light? Okay, you see you saw that flash there on the left-hand side of the speedometer, which means I was getting too close to the edge of the lane. Uh, and why do people do that? Usually, okay, is because we're falling asleep and we're not paying attention. Okay, uh, our attention span is going down. Um, so the question is, why is our attention span going down? Well, you got more crap on these consoles, okay? So there's more distractions, people are talking on their phones, okay? But another thing that this car has is this car actually has uh, a high magnetic field in the footwell. And I have made a video of that, and that makes you tired much faster, okay? Uh, it, I mean, it just lowers your health, the high magnetic fields. But yeah, it makes you much tired. Um, there's high winds ahead, this sign says. <laughs> so I may need to pay attention, but um, well, of course I'm paying attention, but I may need to drive a little bit better. So anyways, um, yeah, so we got all these gadget things to prevent us from hurting ourselves, which is caused by the technologies we use um, and poor implementations of technology. In this case, the technology is this car and there's inadequate magnetic field shielding, uh, if any, um, as well as all these new consoles uh, for phones, media, whatever, um, distracting us. Um, and I don't have any radiation pulsing out from this car, but normally there would be because people have devices connected. Um, yeah. And then also our sense of direction is going down, okay, because people rely more on uh, GPS, they rely on, you know, their phones to navigate um, rather than just, you know, learning a place and paying attention. So then we got to use these little, you know, navigation maps built into the car, which, you know, have their uses and I have used them, but it's like, it's often overkill, okay? It's often unnecessary. Um, yeah, people's just sense of spatialness is, direction is not good. So, I'm gonna have to change lanes here. Okay, so you can see it, it lit up as I'm changing lanes. It lights up right there. Okay, um, now if I go over, you see it lights up again. Um, and I think, I want to say the steering column moved a little bit as the car was trying to compensate. But I'm just going to turn it off now. But I just wanted to demonstrate that. Um, yeah, so technology is a double-edged sword. And it is useful, obviously. But it's causing us many problems. And I've got a coolant level low there. That's the second time I've seen that. Like, great. Thanks for thanks for that. So, am I going to get this stuck somewhere? So, um, yeah. So, that's just a little thing about technology and cars.